Hey, what's up, everybody? Before you purchase the 230th anniversary flowing hair silver medal that goes on sale tomorrow from the recording of this video and from when this video will be published, this goes on sale tomorrow, Tuesday, October the 15th, 2024 at noon Eastern time. But before this does go on sale tomorrow, I have a little bit of a warning. I do find a couple of things pretty alarming that I think everybody should know before you do or do not purchase this silver medal tomorrow. Now, this video is not about if you should or should not purchase this product that does go on sale tomorrow, this 230th anniversary flowing hair silver medal. That's not what this video is about, and that's not what any of my videos are about when I discuss the United States Mint. These videos and this video is just to hopefully provide you with enough information, enough facts, and combined with my thoughts and opinions on this silver medal, and hopefully that gives you enough information to make a better decision if you do want to purchase this silver medal or not. If you enjoyed this video or find this video full of information and informative, please consider hitting that thumbs up button on the video, hitting that like button on this video, and let me know any thoughts, opinions you may have in that comment section below. And if you know anybody else who may be considering purchasing this silver medal, please share this video with them, all your friends and your family, anybody you know on social media that may be considering purchasing this silver medal. I believe this is a important video. Now let's talk about facts. Before we get into my opinions about this silver medal, let's talk about the facts. The facts are this does go on sale tomorrow on October the 15th, Tuesday, October the 15th, 2024 at noon Eastern time. The mintage limit, 75,000, and the product limit, 75,000. And there's a household order limit of one. That household order limit used to be five, and then the United States Mint changed the household order limit to one. The price, $104. This medal goes on sale Tuesday, October the 15th, 2024 at noon Eastern Time. This is a modern reproduction of Robert Scott's 1794 flowing hair silver dollar. And unless you're a millionaire or a billionaire, chances are you would not be able to afford one of the 1794 flowing hair silver dollars. And this is what we're going to talk mainly about because I think this is why some people who are excited to purchase one of these silver medals is going to try and get one of the 1,794 of the medals that will feature a 230th privy mark. 230, 230 privy mark. 230 of the privy marked medals will include a certificate of authenticity signed by United States Mint Director Ventress C. Gibson. We're going to talk a little bit more about this. Before we do, this medal will be struck at the Philadelphia Mint, but will not have any sort of a mint mark. It will not have a P mint mark. Then it says, quantities are limited. Don't miss adding this one-time offering of 230th anniversary flowing hair silver medal. Now, here are some pictures, some depictions of the silver medal. There's a couple different. The one we're looking at right now does not have the 230 privy mark. This one does have the 230 privy mark. If you're going to be ordering these, and this is where I'm going to get to my opinion, and I will be giving you my reasons for this being my opinion, but my opinion is if you're going to be ordering this because you're trying to get one of these privy marks, order it because you actually want this medal. Order it because you think that the $104 is the right price range for you and you're not going to mind having this metal 
in your collection. That's right, I said collection. This is not about silver stacking. This is about because you are passionate about coin collecting or United States mint collecting or because you just like collecting or because you just like collecting and you don't mind spending these extremely high premiums on one ounce of silver and because you really love this design like this design and just want to add it to your collection because the odds in my opinion of getting the one with the privy mark is very very low very low percentage in my opinion that when you if you are going to order this silver medal just with that being said just with all that information just on the surface of being 1,794 of the privy marks and very, very much less of the privy marks that will be combined with the COA, with the signed COA. Very, very low odds that you will be receiving one just with this information here. A few days ago, the United States Mint also showed us the packaging. And the packaging, I must say, is a little more attractive than what the United States Mint has been providing us in the past. And the stuff at the bottom, the black stuff, does look like that black, like fuzzy stuff at the bottom. It does look like pretty attractive packaging in my opinion so very nice there let me know your thoughts about the packaging if you even care about the packaging in the comment section below now if you're going to be ordering this silver medal with the hope that you're going to be receiving one or many of the flowing hair silver medals with the privy mark my question is how many exactly of the 1794 of the possible medals with the privy mark with that 230 privy mark is still available to be shipped out to individual households or mailing addresses that is my question because there's been a lot of rumblings over the last several days because ebay had some listings already with silver medals with the 200 pre-sales i should say with the 230 privy mark and one of those listings is currently over i do believe with bids over one thousand five hundred dollars so that led me to trying to do a little investigation as to is there already people with these in hand now i don't know 100 percent for sure if people already do have these in hand however i went to pcgs's website to look at their population report and this is what i found the 2024 flowing hair silver medal you have the silver medal a lot of them already graded well not really a lot but there is some already graded without the privy mark and there's also a few graded with the privy mark and this is a couple of things that i do find pretty alarming in my opinion if we open this up and just look at the one with the privy mark you will see that they are all with advanced release labels three of them ms 69s 25 of them ms 70s for a total of 28. now i wasn't able to find anything on the ngc census report i've been looking for the last couple of days and I haven't been able to find anything on their census report, so I'm not sure if they actually graded any or not. This is PCGS's population report, and this is the one with the 230 privy mark. Is this all with the 230th privy mark that has been released, and that is 28? Or is there a possibility that there's more of the 1,794 that's already accounted for that will not be boxed up and possibly shipped out to an individual or, some, or to your mailing address, possibly, that is going to order one of these silver medals? That's something I don't have the answers for. I wish the United States Mint would come out and be a little bit more transparent, in my opinion, 
on this topic. So in my opinion, the odds just went down of the possibilities of getting one of these silver medals with the preview mark because we know, at least we think, because of seeing eBay listings, but not just eBay listings, people list things on eBay all the time when they don't actually have them in hand, but it looks like PCGS has already graded some. Now, not only have they graded the ones with the privy mark, but they have also graded 561 without the privy mark. And this is another thing that I find sort of alarming is that 105 of those are graded as MS-69s and 456 of them were graded MS-70s. In my opinion, being that these were the first that were released from the United States Mint, in early grading, we are seeing a high percentage, at least in my opinion, that are coming back less than MS-70. Now, we're not seeing any coming back less than an MS-69, but again, in my opinion, this is a pretty high percentage coming back in early grading MS-69 or less than a MS-70. So that, again, is very alarming that we may see some of these silver medals with some sort of quality problems. Of the 561 of the flowing hair silver medals that was graded by PCGS without the privy mark, there's a few different assortments of labels. And it looks like five of those labels, and they were all graded MS-70s, is with the Advanced Release General George. 30 MS-70s is with a label 230th Anniversary Advanced Release Truman's Triumph. 347 of them, 347 70s, has advanced release labels, 330th Anniversary Advanced Release. Then 105 74 70s and 3169s have a first strike label. And if I'm looking at this correctly, 74, zero of which are MS-70s, and all 74 have just a basic label, not a first strike, not a advanced release label. It's just a basic PCGS label. Every one of them, all 74, were graded MS-69s. And the reason why I did digging into this in the first place was because of hearing all sorts of people many different platforms in the comment section of my videos and otherwise people saying that many of these 230th anniversary flowing hair with the privy mark has already been released and that's why i came over to pcgs i also looked at like i said i looked at the ngc census report and i'm not finding anything on their census report so maybe ngc hasn't received any now, I do give credit to PCGS for putting this information out there. I'm glad that they did add this to their population report so people do know that there has been some privy mark and without the privy mark already graded. And it's right there on their population report for everybody to look up. My next question is... How many, and my original question is, how many of the 1,794 of the flowing hair silver medals with the privy mark is actually out there for people to maybe get lucky and receive? That's a question we just do not have the answer for. We don't know in the future what the value on the secondary market of the silver medals with the privy mark will be. What I would say if I was giving advice to my friends or a couple hundred friends or maybe a couple thousand of my closest friends is if I was going to purchase this silver medal, I would be purchasing it with the expectations that I was going to receive this one because I want this one and this is the one that I think that I'm going to receive. But if I were to receive one with the privy mark, then that would just make my day a little bit brighter. It would make me a little bit happier if I did receive this one, but at the same time still have the full 
expectation of receiving the silver medal without the 230 privy mark and even less that I'm not going to receive the COA that's been signed by United States Mint Director Ventress C. Gibson. Now, I'm not accusing the United States Mint of doing anything dirty. Maybe it was a part of the authorized bulk purchase program, the ABPP, and maybe it wasn't. What is the authorized bulk purchase program? Since I did bring that up, I'm going to read you just a little bit of this. I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. But it was started in 2021, and it says not all mint products will be offered through this program, and no more than 10% products with limited quantities will be distributed under this program. No discounts will be given to ABPP members, and some products will carry a premium. And the last time I checked, and this may be correct or may not be correct, but I think it's that they are to pay 5% over the issue price. And I don't know if that's changed or if that's factual or not, but that's what I believe to be the case. So with all that being said, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. As always, if you found this video full of information, informative, please consider hitting that thumbs up button on the video. Let me know any thoughts, opinions you may have in that comment section below. Will you be purchasing one of these when these go on sale on October the 15th, 2024 at noon Eastern time? As far as me, what is a video without a cliffhanger? Now, I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing one of these or not. I haven't made up my mind, but if I do decide to purchase one of these, I will be taking my own advice and that is buying one with the full expectations that I will receive this one without the privy mark, but would be extremely happy if I did receive the one with the privy mark. But like I say about all silver medals, I'm not a big fan in general of silver medals. I do wish that this was a coin, but in order for a silver of anything to be made a coin, it would need legislation by Congress. And if the United States Mint did send some of these out early, I don't really care about the if they sent out any early of the 75,000 because for me, this is a somewhat of a high mintage limit and I am very skeptical if this is going to sell out quickly anyway. But it's more so of the 1,794 of the medals with the 230th privy mark. How many of these were sent out? I wish the United States Mint if the, anybody from the United States Mint is watching this video, which I doubt they, they are, but if anybody is, please, if you would, address how many of these are actually available to ship out just to the average person, the average person's household or mailing address that could have the possibility of receiving one of these medals or how many of these are already spoken for. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.